welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film the YouTube mom tag for you guys. This was thought up by Christina from Subfertile Frugalista. I will link her channel down below. She is an amazing YouTuber. Thank you so much to Christina for the tag. She's got two beautiful little girls and a wonderful channel. So go check it out if you haven't already. I'm just going to jump right in because there are a number of questions. Question number one, what is the last movie that you saw that made you cry? I am very prone to the happy cry, the overwhelmed feeling cry, and so that would probably have to be what any movie that I've seen recently. Oh, I know, Frozen. Every time I watch the movie Frozen, just recently started watching that movie with my daughter, and so every time Elsa is singing up on the mountain, I just get overwhelmed with emotion and I cry. So anyhow, that is that. Number two, what is your favorite thing to do when you have a couple of hours to yourself? I love to go thrifting, of course. Number three, what is your favorite breakfast food? Um, I like a good uh, like a breakfast burrito wrap type thing, like egg and cheese and tortilla. Number four, what are the top three home repairs you'd like to see done if money were no object? Well, we are currently selling our house, but if we weren't selling our house, I would like to uh, redo the carpet in the basement, update some of the windows, and um, redo the driveway. It, it needs to be redone. Number five, what is your favorite baby name that you never used? Uh, my favorite baby name that I never used, I did a whole video on this, so I'm gonna link that down below. But overall, the baby name is Solene. It is a little girl's name, I absolutely love it. I read it in a uh, Living Etc. magazine a long, long time ago, and uh, unfortunately Dave does not like the name, so it never made the cut. Number six, what is your favorite store to shop in? Definitely a thrift store. Uh, but if it weren't to be a thrift store, it would be probably anthropology. I really love the style of anthropology. And I quite often will go through anthropology, sort of make a mental checklist of the things in there, and then I'll go to a thrift store and try and find the same thing or sort of replicate it, you know, the little look for less. Number seven, what did you do before you came, became a mom? Um, before I became a mom, I was a massage therapist. Number eight, what's your favorite hobby? <laughs> I don't know, I've, my hobbies have sort of fallen by the wayside, but I guess crafting. Number nine, if you could spend a day doing whatever you wanted, what would it be? I would like to sleep in, like to go get my nails done, I'd like to go shopping, and uh, yeah, mostly sleeping. <laughs> I like to sleep. Um, let's see, number 10, how did you meet your husband? We actually met at church, so uh, he is a little bit younger than me, and so when I was in senior youth group and he was in junior youth group. I sort of developed a crush on him, even though I had a boyfriend at the time. But, um, uh, you know, that boyfriend and I broke up and uh, Dave was there. He was very sweet and he's a funny guy. So uh, anyhow, number 11, what was your favorite family vacation? Uh, Dave and I, along with his family, so his mom and dad and brother and his brother's girlfriend at the time, uh, we went on a trip to Florida in 2009 and it was honestly the best vacation ever. It was one of those vacations where you leave your hometown and you go and you completely forget about home, all the stress of home, all the responsibility of home, and you just have a great, great time. That was that vacation. Uh, and then I see here it also says, or when you were a kid. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, we used to go to um, a church summer camp every year, and uh, I loved, I have great, great memories at that camp. So camp was also a fun family vacation. Uh, number 12, name three things you do well. <laughs> uh, um, what are three things I do well? I, I don't know. I think I do momming pretty well. Um, I think that I love pretty well. I, I, I am a, I think a natural caregiver, so I think that I love pretty well. And number three, I think that I make people feel comfortable really well. If that makes sense, I don't know how else to put it, but yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> Number 13, name three toiletries or makeup items you could not live without. Um, I would say under eye concealer, for sure. I also need to always fill in my brows or else I find my face doesn't look defined, especially because I wear glasses, so eyebrow filler inner. <laughs> what else? Probably like a uh, dry shampoo. Number 14, name your favorite thing about each of your children. Uh, for Jude, he's just a... Uh, really caring and gentle and loving uh, boy, so I love that about him. Miriam, her favorite thing about her is she is um, headstrong, 
I don't know what's the word, headstrong, feisty, I don't know, but she is uh, independent and I really love that about her. Number 15, what was your first job? I worked for my dad uh, doing data entry for his business. Number 16, what are your hidden talents? Um, I can move my ears. I don't know if you can see this, but I can move my ears. Um, number 17, how long did you date your husband before you got married? Uh, he's the one, he's the person to ask. I don't know. I think five years. I think five years. We got together in 2003 or two and then got married in 2007. So I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm horrible. Uh, number 18, what are your top three favorite TV shows? I like Call the Midwife. Actually, I love Call the Midwife. I also like Modern Family and I like, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, I really like Dexter when that was out. I know that seems weird, but I did really like Dexter. Um, number 19, what's the ba bravest thing you've ever done? I think giving birth to two babies was pretty brave. Number 20, where were you three hours ago? I was sleeping. It's first thing in the morning. I'm taking the advantage of Jude uh, going off to school and Dave took Miriam with him. So I'm taking advantage of the house being empty. I was sleeping. Number 21, what is one thing on your fall bucket list? I want to rake, rake the leaves and have the kids jump in them. So we haven't raked the leaves yet because our tree is not done sort of shedding its leaves. So we will do that soon. Number 22, do you meal plan? What is one weekly staple? Yes, we do meal plan. Um, we haven't lately because we've been out of the house mostly around dinner time for showings, but we do like to meal plan and uh, I find that really works well for us. I'd see a, say a staple is uh, probably a pasta, a simple pasta, or we really like to have a curry chicken. Uh, which isn't quite how it sounds. It's more like a sugar chicken, but uh, it does have a bit of curry powder in there. So we call it curry chicken. It was a meal that I used to have when I was a kid at home. Uh, number 23, when you were a kid, what is, what did you want to be when you grew up? I don't know. I never really had ambitions. Uh, <laughs> that sounds horrible, but I never was one of those kids who said I wanted to be sort of this. I think one thing was I wanted to be self-employed. My dad has always been self-employed and so I really um, liked that, so I wanted to be an entrepreneur. 24, would you rather travel 50 years into the future or into the past? Definitely into the past. Uh, the future scares me. <laughs> Number 25, what has been your best Halloween costume ever? That would have to be, uh, I bought a full-size sheep onesie and it's so cozy and warm, I absolutely love it. Number 26, night owl or early bird? Night owl. 100%. Number 27, if you were having guests over, what's your go-to dish to serve? Um, I know Dave's the cook, so, and he can cook a lot of good things, so that, you know, that's his domain, so I don't really know, but if I were to cook something, it would probably be curry chicken. Uh, dee, 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 dee. Number 28, are you messy, neat, or somewhere in the middle? I am full on messy. 29, what is one thing you desperately need to do but am putting off? I guess finish getting the passports for the kids. We're traveling in January and I have to get them passports, so I have to get on that. Uh, number 30, name five YouTube moms you think everybody should be watching. I definitely think you should be watching, uh, let's see, Crystal Tara here on YouTube. She is wonderful, she just had twins. And uh, she's, an, from what I see on camera, she's an amazing mom. Number two, uh, Michelle Pearson, you probably heard of her. She's a pretty big YouTuber in my eyes. And uh, I just find her really inspirational. Number three, uh, Patricia Keel. <laughs> I have a soft spot for Patricia Keel. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like we would be friends in real life if we live close to each other. Number four, um, Dana Ryan. I love Dana Ryan. She is. Um, just amazing. Uh, she's been on YouTube for a while. I feel like she's this YouTube guru. She's a working mom, plus she's got four children, plus she runs her YouTube channel. So I just feel like she's amazing overall. Number five is Lisa Marie TTC. I just started following her recently more closely because she's been having a lot of Disney videos. So I've been sort of binge watching on her Disney videos, but I just love her personality. So she's got a little daughter named Gemma who's super sweet. Uh, yeah, so those are the top five YouTubers I think you should be watching. And I actually tag all five of you uh, to do this video. So anyhow, that is that. I hope you enjoyed this tag. Thanks again, Christina, for the tag. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel but want to see more videos from me, you might as well subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.